What's up guys, Lamergar here with another mod review. And in today's mod review, we're going to be reviewing another MC Abnormals mod. This one's called Atmospheric. Um, and it's a new biomes mod. It's by the same people that made the upgrade aquatic, which was my last mod review. Um, and there's currently two new biomes, but there are some work in progress ones that we'll get to at the end of the video. Uh, first thing we got today is the new sand and sandstone types. Uh, we have the arid sand, arid sandstone, arid sandstone stairs, arid sandstone slab, arid sandstone wall, smooth arid sandstone, smooth arid sandstone stairs, smooth arid sandstone slab, cut arid sandstone, cut arid sandstone slab, chiseled arid sandstone, all the vertical slabs for cork, and the new arid sandstone bricks and all their, their variants. Of course, there's also a red variant um, where you have the Arid, the red arid sand, red arid sandstone, all the variants that we talked about earlier. And I mean, I've actually made this sort of structure that I have here out of the red arid sandstone. And it looks pretty good. And they have this nice little slime face on the chiseled sandstone. So now you have the wither on the red sandstone in Minecraft and creeper on the normal. There's also some new plants. First one is the gillium flower, which only is in the flourishing variant of the dunes. Um, and then you have the aloe, which is its farm, so it's like a crop, you've actually got the like, growth stages, it starts small, it's bigger, and until it's fully mature, and in these growth stages it actually damages you. Um, when you harvest it, you'll get all this stuff, some yellow dye, some aloe kernels, which you plant in the arid sand, and some aloe leaves. When you eat aloe leaves, you get this new effect, gelled, which gives you some, like, it may seem more resistant to fire, not like fire resistance where you're immune, but you just take less damage from fire. Um, there was also the yucca flower, which damages you and knocks you back. So you could do some interesting stuff with that. <laughs> Next feature is that you can make an aloe gel with an aloe leaves in a bottle. Um, and as you can see, if you do 2x2 two two of the aloe gel, you get the aloe gel block. Which, uh, when you're in it, it gives you the gel effect, but also the poison effect. So, I don't really see a reason for using this besides obviously making probably obviously storing your gel. But it does work as a slime block, so if you're low on slime, then that works. And of course there's also the alien leaf bundle. Which is just a 3x3 three three of alien leaves. There's two new candles for buzzy or bees for compatibility. And we have the yucca flower scented which gives you a new effect, persistence. Persistence means that if you're lower on hunger, you get some speed boost, I think. So as you can see, since now we're at four shanks, we're super fast, as long as we're near the candle, of course. And you can't extend the range. And there's also the Gillium candle, as you can see here. Um, and the Gillium candle, uh, it, it gives you slow falling. So, it could be useful if you have a high up base. Now there's a new cactus type too, which is currently just a decoration. But it would be interesting if they added some sort of other use for it in the future. It's the barrel cactus, and there's different growth stages like you have with the, um, aloe plant. Though I don't really see a reason why you would want to farm it. But yeah, if you break these, it'll give you four barrel cactus, which you can then place to make these and then bone meal to get up to that again. And of course, you can store it with the uh, 3x3 to make these, uh, what are they called? Barrel cactus batches. They have this interesting little chain on the side, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's a new tree type, of course, the yucca tree, which you can see it's all out there. Um, and there's some interesting events. You can see um, sort of a branch up there, and this uh, the yucca fruit bundle. Of course, uh, you've got all the birds, and the leaves seem to sometimes drop a branch and mostly drop saplings. Um, there's obviously the new wood, and you've got all the variants, including compatibility stuff. I don't want to say all that stuff, but I mean, it does look kind of cool. And I mean, it's what I'm building this thing out of. Uh, there's also the new food. We've got the yucca fruits, which you get from breaking the yucca fruit clusters or whatever they're called. Uh, they give the new persistence effect, I think, when they're cooked. And you have the yucca gauchon, which I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I think.
think I just did it Frenchly. <laughs> um, and it can be eaten to give the new persistence effect. If you silk touch these, you can boil them to make that, which is sort of efficient because it's more efficient to boil them because you only need to cook it once. You can also store them in the casks with the non-cooked and then cooked respectively. Um, that's pretty much it for the dunes biome, and I'll just flash all the variants on the screen really quickly. Next biome is the Rosewood Forest. So I'm just gonna load up the world, and I'll see you there. Alright, so we're in the Rosewood Forest now, and as you can see, it's pretty biome. Looks kind of like a jungle. Parrots will actually spawn here. Um, you've got, of course, these new... The new trees, the rosewood, and the new vines, the passion vines. I don't think you can actually climb up them, though. Um, and with the new tree also comes all the new wood variants, so I have some of the more interesting ones, including a hive, if you're using buzzier bees. But of course, a bookshelf, cork, ladder for cork, all the basic stuff, chest for cork, boat, door, all that good stuff. Um, there's also some new plants, the monkey brush, um, and we'll get to that effect later. Uh, you've got the warm, hot, and scalding. It's just the color, it doesn't actually let you on fire or anything. Candles for Buzzier Beast Compact, they give you relief. The relief effect makes it so that if the damage you take is greater than your level, then you take less damage, pretty much. And there's also another effect where you invert the potion, called worsening where you take more damage if the damage you take is greater than your level. Um, so, passion fruits. We have the first the passion vine, which you saw earlier, and you can craft them into the passion vine coil. And if you throw the passion vine coil, uh, well, that didn't happen that time, but sometimes it makes, like, trails of vines if you hit it right. Um, and next up, of course, is the passion fruit. Passion fruit is edible. So, if you eat the passion fruit, you'll begin to spit seeds. And they actually do hit mobs. I swear they hit mobs. Why aren't they hitting him? Okay, this is strange. Okay, well, I've seen them hit mobs before. I don't know why it does not work. But they do hit mobs, I promise. Um, and you have the Shimmering Passion Fruit. Which lets you- oh, there we go. Now it's hitting him. And, <laughs> yeah. Um, it gives you some spitting too, which is very fast. And I actually got a carrot. Nice. Um. And also gives you some saturation. To craft the Shimmering Passion Fruit, you just, um, craft a passion fruit. Like you would a golden apple. Just replace the apple with the- Passion fruit. Break the passion vine. I don't know actually. How do you get passion? Okay, so um, we'll cut that part out. Um, and that's and of course you can also make the passion fruit into some nice stuff. Um, passion fruit tart, which is just kind of a casual snack, and then passion fruit sorbet, which while it is very nourishing, gives you slowness four for quite a bit. So it's not the best thing to eat if you're in you know the middle of a fight. But if you're, like, recovering after one, it would be something good to eat. And to craft the passion fruit tart, you just surround, uh, passion fruit- I mean, you just surround an egg with passion fruit. And to craft the passion fruit sorbet, you have a bowl of sugar, an ice, and a passion fruit, just like that. And if you do a 3x3 three three of passion fruits, you're shimmering passion fruit, so you can make the crate, which looks like that. Um, and next up we have the first work in progress features, which is Traventine, and, uh, Fumarole. So, Traventine, it comes in all these different colors, you have the ivory, the peach, uh, I forget what this one's called, and the saffron. And you can craft it into all these things, but it doesn't generate yet, so I assume it'll be in one of the new biomes. And you can also, you'll, I think, oh, ooh, that's hot. This acts sort of like magma. I think this kind of acts like... It's kind of like basalt. But yeah, this is hot. But if you shift, you don't take damage. Just like magma. But in different colors. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
for the trap scene, let's move on to the next work in progress feature, which is all the new trees. So first is the grim wood, which is what I'm making this stuff out of. Um, and it, th when you grow the grimwood sapling right now, it just makes a rosewood tree. But this is kind of what my theory for what it could look like. And you also have the aspen, which this is what it actually looks like. Obviously, I've broken some leaves so you can see. And there's a variant of the aspen that doesn't seem to generate when you grow them right now, but it's called the watchful aspen. And it obviously it's got all these eyes, so uh, there might be something magical when that biome eventually happens. And there's the kusa, which is a little blue, not as blue as uh, warped from the 1.16, and I assume that'll also be part of a new biome. Um, and here are what the plants look like, the kusa, the aspen, and the grimwood. And there's also a new thing, Christos, which my theory is that it'll generate with the aspen, since they've got sort of the similar yellow color scheme. Even the aspen's leaves are going to be yellow, I think, because that's what it looks like on the sapling, and if you break them, the particles are yellow. Um, and the Christos can also go onto logs and wood form. Um, and that's pretty much it for the Rosewood Forest and the Work in Progress features. That's the whole mod, Atmospheric. Pretty good mod. I'd recommend downloading it. Add some great new biomes, even though there aren't many. And it's, as you can see, it's still heavily in dev, so there will be cer certainly some big updates in the future. These, at least these three new trees. And the Christos and the Travestine. So that's all pretty cool. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.